Hello. So, what I want to have a quick little chat with you about this week um, is my Disney nail art program that is launching again in two weeks. Um, so that's really exciting. We are, have just finished our second last week in the program at the minute. So we have one week left. The girls are doing Moana for their last week. So that is on Monday next week. Um, so it is ready to start again then in two weeks time. So basically, I just want to kind of tell you a little bit about it. So during the program, you are going to learn um, 10 different, the characters from 10 different movies. Um, we go through all of the main characters. There is easy designs and there are hard designs. So we'll do a breakdown each week of which ones are the easiest ones to start with and which ones are the hardest ones. Um, the program is also going to be laid out this time around that the easiest um, movies are first followed on and then it gets kind of more difficult as the weeks go on, which is really exciting. Um, the program is going to run through Facebook groups. So like all of my online courses, you're going to be in a secret private Facebook group that with you and all of your buddies, everybody else that's in the program where you can all make loads of friends, you can all support each other. I'm obviously going to be in there too, critiquing your work, helping out wherever I can. Um, and it's a really, really great program. So we're going to be doing Mickey and Minnie and Friends. Let's see if I can remember all the these off the top of my head. So we're going to be doing Mickey and Minnie and Friends. We are going to be doing Finding Nemo, Toy Story, Moana, Frozen, Alice in Wonderland, The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Lion King. Hang on. Who am I missing? Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast, Winnie, Winnie the Pooh and Friends. I don't think that was 10. But anyway, yeah, so we do 10. <laughs> we do 10 different um, movies. I'm gonna attach a link for the program into this video anyway. Um, and when you follow that link, you're li you will literally see all of the designs that you're gonna learn throughout the program. Um, it's not in order of which movie we're gonna do first. That's a secret till you're inside the group for which movie you're gonna learn first. Um, but it does the every all the pictures except for Moana because we haven't done Moana yet in the, the other group. But all of the other pictures of what you're actually gonna be learning to do is in that link that um, I'm gonna to attach to this once we're finished. So it's super exciting. There is loads in there for everybody. There is also a special offer for the first 10 people who sign up this time around. So it's going to be 15 euro per week for the first 10 people or an upfront payment of 130 euro. Or um, if you miss out on the first 10 spaces, that price is going to increase. So if you're interested in signing up, I'd sign up sooner rather than later before those 10 spaces are gone. Um, and what I want to do kind of now is I'm just going to do a really quick and easy design for um, one of the dogs, one of the puppies from 101 Dalmatians. Now we don't cover 101 Dalmatians during, during the program so if you do this design you're not going to be missing out on anything. I'm going to be sharing some other Disney nail art techniques in this group and on my page over the next couple of days and the next couple of the next kind of two weeks and that so I hope you guys are excited. Um, it's all done. I use acrylic paints for all of the designs, but you can use acrylic paint, you can use gel polish, you can use gel paint, you can use whatever type of painting medium you want to use. You don't have to use acrylic paints, but that's just what I use in the program. I know a lot of the girls that are in the program at the minute are using gel paints. Um, so you can do whatever you want. It's all obviously nail art, but if you are somebody who just wants to learn how to draw Disney characters and how to paint them and that, you're also totally welcome in the program. You will get a certificate at the end of the program as well. And you get unlimited access to all of the tutorials. So at the end of the program, once the 10 weeks are up, you'll get moved into a graduates group where you will have access to all of the videos forever. So they don't get taken away from you at the end of the 10 weeks. If you haven't managed to do all of the videos, you will always have access to them and you will always be in a support group with me, with your buddies and with everybody else then who has taken the program before you. Um, 
So yeah, I'm going to jump straight in. I have, I'm going to flip the camera around so that we can do the little... The other thing that you get in the program is you get step-by-step -step pictures of all of the different characters so that you can follow along the pictures while you're also following along the video. Um, one tutorial goes up a week. The videos are all from three and a half to four and a half hours long. So I don't expect everybody to be sitting there ready and waiting to watch them. They go up on a Monday and then you can watch them whenever it suits you to watch them. You don't have to be active on Mondays when the video goes up to see it. It's just easy to stick it up on a Monday and that way you have till the following Monday before the next tutorial goes up. Okay, so I've got my brush. A little bit of water in my brush. Okay, so on this nail I have three coats of my minty green and I've got a layer top coat and I have buffed it down to make it kind of rough for my acrylic paint because acrylic paint likes a rough medium. So I'm going to start off by doing a little kind of a line. Along here. And then I'm going to go up a little bit. And then from this side, I'm going to curl down a little bit of an angle. Tuck down and we'll lift back up. Do a little loop down here. And disappear off the side. And then I'm going to colour that in with my white paint. So we just did Alice in Wonderland this week and some of the designs were awesome. My favourite one's the Mad Hatter, I'll show you while I... This is drying. So while he's drying, I want to come over here and do a little line down. And then I'm going to shoosh across here. Another little line down here. Back up, so we've got a little triangle. And then back onto his little head. And I need that to dry for me, but while that's drying, I can take a little bit of a pink I made up earlier on today. And I'm just going to colour in. inside part of his ear. Okay. Now I need to give that a couple of seconds to dry and then I'll put another layer of white on and then we'll keep going. So I'll just show you the Mad Hatter that we did today. Where is he? So now this is going to be one of the easy designs and the Mad Hatter is going to be one of the more difficult designs that you'll do during the program. So this is the Mad Hatter that we just did. He's super cute. And then we did Alice as well. Alice is here. It's my finger on the screen. There it is. So, uh, 
and then easier ones that we did this week were the likes of um, the kind of more up-to-date Queen of Hearts so she's not too difficult to do um, and then the other Queen of Hearts actually isn't too bad either but like that you're taught through everything during the program um, you've got step-by-step -step pictures of everything throughout the program the video is always there what I kind of recommend doing is watching the video at the same time as looking at the pictures so that you can hear all the hints and tips while you're looking at the pictures and I'm just gonna do our second layer of color on himself And there's people of all different levels in the program, so don't be afraid to join. Even if you're like, oh, I'll never be able to do that, you definitely will be by the time the program is finished, once you put in the bit of practice. Obviously, you'll never learn how to do anything if you don't practice it. But it helps when you've got training sessions and step-by-steps and stuff. Now with acrylic paints, what you'll notice is that you'll see brush strokes while you're working, but then when you top coat, all your brush strokes disappear. Now I need to give that another couple of seconds to dry and I have my little palette over here in navy that we made up earlier on I'm just going to see if it's still okay yeah no doing fine so over the next couple of days I'm going to be sharing a bunch of Disney tutorials in the group so we're going to be doing some hard ones and some easy ones um I did the evil Queen from Snow White there recently so I'm going to share that in the group so that that will be kind of one of the more difficult ones that you would do in the program um, and then we've got the likes of this which are nice and easy so that you can kind of see the the difference between them and I would expect that by when you start you might be looking at these ones going oh even the easy ones look hard but by the time you're finished you're going to be like let me out the hard ones I want to try the hard ones first technically the if the program is actually going to be 11 weeks long but you don't find out what's in the last week until the last week, because the last week is a secret. What we can do while we're waiting is we'll start his little outline. So I'm going to literally just outline around him. And on this side, I'm going to drag down into the white. So right down into the white. Where is it, Lear? And then up the side, we'll come right up and around and down. Here's a little ear over this side. And up 
goes back down. And then that pink bit is actually the inside bit of his ear. Okay. Now, so I need to take a little bit of black. And you need to colour in his little triangular nose. And you join along there. Yeah, so this little puppy has patches, so I'm going to draw a big patch around his eye. And a big circular eye on that side. And then on this side. And draw another big patch around his eye. the way out. And we'll do another big eye in there. Now I want to draw a little line across here and a little line there just to kind of symbolize that his nose is sticking out further. draw a little line here down on Geneva's mouth and a little sad face on him down here I'll draw a little line under there to symbolise just under his eye. And then you can give him a few little spots on his ear. And bring his nose out a little bit further. And I'm going to give him a few little spots. A little spot there and a little spot up there. Now. If 
I take a little bit of white and give him a little bit of a highlighter on the tip of his nose. And then we'll brighten his eyes up a little bit. With a little dot on each side. I'm just going to move that little black line a little bit. Just about. So did you see how easy that was to fix that little line? I popped a little blob of white on and then popped a fresh bit of black on. Now, the last thing we need to do is give him his little collar. And he's a boy, so we have a little blue one for him. We're literally just going to have that sliding off the side of the nail. And then all we need to do is wait for him to dry and we can top coat him. And then if you wanted to as well, over on this side, because see the way his patch goes up high on this side and it doesn't on this one? You could give him a little eyebrow. Okay, all right, let's get him top coated. I just want you guys to see what he looks like shiny. So at the minute you can see all the little brush strokes and everything in him. And once he is top coated, he won't. Oh, you didn't splutter. So, brush strokes disappear, he goes shiny and gets super cute. So then literally all you need to do is stick him in the lamp, cure him, and your client has a fabulous Disney nail. So thanks a million guys for watching. I am going to jump straight into the group now and share the link for the program. So if anybody is interested, keep an eye on this video. Um, and then I'll get it flipped around, edited, and so that the, the video is the right way up for you as well, in case you want to give it a go. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon.